Orion. Orion was the son of Euryale, the princess of Crete, and Poseidon, god of the sea. His powerful father gave him the ability to walk on water. Orion could stroll around the sea around his island home of Crete as easily as if he were walking on a paved path. He was also a very impressive hunter. He chased animals over land and water. In addition to spirited wild goats and quick-footed hare, he could catch slippery fish, both large and small. His talent for capturing prey made him a favorite of Artemis, who was the goddess of hunting. The two often spent entire days together roaming the forest of Crete. They thought their friendship would never come to an end. However, Orion became arrogant. One day, as he and Artemis were stalking a boar, he boasted, I bet I could catch and kill any animal that lives on the ground. Artemis laughed. Unfortunately, Artemis was not the only goddess who heard this boast. Gaia, goddess of the earth, had been listening. His bragging outraged her. She decided to conjure up a cruel test for him. From the dirt around his feet, she created the glinting black body of a huge scorpion. Gaia breathed life into the creature, which scuttled towards Orion. When Orion saw the terrible monster, he quickly drew his bow and he fired arrow after arrow into it, but they simply bounced off his scaly hide. It snapped at Orion with his claws and drove Orion back. Finally, the scorpion stung him with his venomous tail, and Orion dropped down dead. Artemis fell to the floor of the forest, weeping. She begged her father Zeus to help, but he said he could not bring him back to life. Instead, he sent the young man up into the heavens. There, his soul split into little pieces and it went as stars in the sky and formed the constellation which is now known as Orion, so that he will never be forgotten. The End